ether. And when I heard about you're supposed to have space between when you stand up and put your feet together, you're supposed to have touch when you're standing straight. Right. And you yeah. were criticized because you were modeling something and people started calling you. All kinds of things, really. Actually, I wanted to come out wearing a quarter pig. I got called hefty. It's, it's fine. I'm really confident and I love, you know, I love my body as it is. But it was a, it was a shock, you know. We need women to say that. Yeah, I know. I was, I was really yeah. shocked. Anybody, especially women, say, I love my body and I'm comfortable with that. And, and very few young girls, because you're supposed to say, oh, I have this, or oh, I'm, you know, great for kids growing up. It's been so empowering. The more I'm a plus size model, the more I say, you know, I love my body, it actually works. Saying you love your body actually works. It makes a positive rebound effect. And then you start loving it. things that, you know, that just so time consuming, you know, diets and control and all that. You just want to let go and just accept who you are. Did you, you started uh, modeling when you were 16. Yeah. And, and were you really thin when you started model? Because everyone's, you know, told me I should model and... Well, you're 6'2". You, know, you have two choices. You're a basketball player or you're a exactly, model. Exactly. Yeah. All the volleyball, yeah. 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 So it was limited options, uh, no. And so I started to lose weight naturally because I thought, you know, you had to be skinny to be... You know, even at my absolute skinniest, I was not skinny enough to model. You know, at Sydney Crawford today couldn't even model a catwalk because she's too curvy. That's to a point where it's got to. And so, you know, I gave up my life of just loving food and loving... You know, food's not the problem, it's society, it's all other issues, and we're all hating on so much things, but we should just be, you know, accepting our... No. <laughs> so you must have, during that time, so you tried to diet, you tried to do all those things, and they, yeah. they don't work. I don't know why people still think diets yeah. work. It was hell, you know, it was much, and to hate your body so much, to hold it responsible for not working, to hold it responsible for holding your life back, you know, I was getting options overseas and all this like a dream job for me this little girl in Australia you know so it was you know it changed and uh, I, I really can't get over it you're 6'2 and and yeah. you're size 12 and yeah. and that you're a plus size model I know I mean I to, mean to be honest a plus size should be it just to be a model and they should learn to put more you know different sizes different ages and they do you can tell a 16 to do anything she wants to do, you know, yeah. and she'll do it. Right. If, yeah, so. Well, and also she's 16, so yeah. we, we're never going to have a body like a 16-year-old girl if you're exactly. an And, you know, that stuff to me is I love my body for my hips, and, you know, my hips would have to be half the size. Do you think it's, it's partially, I think, the consumer's fault because we're the ones trying to chase that? or We have the power to change it, don't you think? Yeah, women's weight's really tarnished. I mean, case in point, Kim Kardashian with pregnancy weight. Mm -hmm. Um, and I wrote an article recently about Lady Gaga's weight gain re as well. And I think when any celebrity woman don't even think about the consequences of, young, you know, to young girls. So I think it's, you know, we should definitely focus on what we, what we say to each other. You know, we shouldn't comment so freely. It's going to affect them later on in life. I think I'm more about, you know, finding your set natural weight and just being happy at that weight. Don't try to force yourself down. Yeah. Well, it's good that, that you are comfortable with wh who you are, and that's what we all need to learn, yeah. is to be comfortable in a healthy body. That's all that matters. You're amazing. Uh, you're and when I heard about you're supposed to have space between when you stand up and put your feet together, you're supposed to have touch when you're standing straight. Right. And you yeah. were criticized because you were modeling something, and people started calling you... All kinds of things, really. Actually, I wanted to come out wearing a quarter pig. I got called hefty. It's it's fine. I'm really confident, and I love you know I love my body as it is. But it was a it was a shock. You know? yeah. We need women to say that. Yeah, I know. I was I was really yeah. shocked. Anybody, especially women, say I love my body and I'm comfortable with that. And and very few young girls, because you're supposed to say, oh, I have this, or oh, I'm you know, great for kids growing up. It's been so empowering. The more I'm a plus size model, the more I say, you know, I love my body. It actually works. Saying you love your body actually works. It makes a positive rebound effect. And then you start loving things that, you know, that just so time consuming, you know, diets and control.